Kabul is still reeling from shock a day after a suicide bomb attack killed more than 100 people and wounded at least 235. The strike saw Taliban militants drive an ambulance laden with explosives into a crowded street in what was considered to be one of the most secure parts of the Afghan capital. Every day there are fears of attacks here and living has become very dangerous for everyone. It's not safe to live in Afghanistan anymore. That feeling of fear and despair was also mixed with anger. There was harsh criticism of the government on social media for failing to protect ordinary Afghans for the rising wave of Taliban and ISIL-inspired attacks. Saturday's blast was the worst to hit Kabul in months. Afghanistan has accused Pakistan of providing support to the attackers, while President Trump called for decisive action against those responsible, branding the bombing as despicable.